Hi, today on Nat Chats, we're talking no price marketing, such as end date, sales and auctions. Do they work and why do we as agents use them? Lots of buyers tell us that they don't like no price marketing. So why as agents do we continue to use those strategies? Well, basically we use them because they work. We know that the same property can be worth very different amounts to different buyers, depending upon A, how much they love it, B, the extent to which it meets their needs, and C, what they can afford, their budget. So that can be very different between very different buyers. Buyers work out what they think a property is worth all the time. It's just that when there's a price guide, they can work that out a little more easily. Basically, if a buyer thinks the property is too expensive, they generally are not going to make an offer for the home, not even a low one. They'll just sit and watch it. And even when we do provide price guides, it's not unusual to have a 10% range or sometimes even more between the lowest and a highest offer for a property. Price opinion can vary wildly. When we take a property to market with no price, it's often because we, as the agents, aren't sure ourselves what the best buyer might be prepared to pay for the home. And we don't want to lose the genuine early buyers by accidentally overpricing the property or indeed risk underselling it and getting a poor result by underpricing it. Our job is simple, it's to find the best buyer for the property that's prepared to pay the most that the market is prepared to pay. And if we think that a no price marketing approach, be that an end date sale or an auction, is going to get the best result for the seller and provide great feedback on where buyers are seeing value, because ultimately it's the buyers that have the checkbooks, not us, then that's what we're going to recommend as a selling strategy. If you're a buyer that's interested in buying a property that's being marketed with out of price and you're looking for some guidance, it's fairly straightforward. Ask the agent for recent comparable sales evidence, though for unique properties there might not be a lot, but always ask the question because they'll always have it. And if there's been a number of home opens, the agent should have feedback as to where the buyers are seeing value. That might be a large range, but they should have that information and happily share it with you. Don't be surprised though, if the agent actually asks you for your opinion on value and price, and because you as a genuine buyer and what you think it's worth is more important than what we or the sellers believe. And we're there to collect that information and feedback from the market. If you're a seller in fickle markets like the one we're in now, no price marketing can be even more effective than pricing in reducing your length of time to sell and getting a premium result. Just make sure that the agent you're using has got a lot of experience in this approach and could provide you with case studies and examples to support their success. You don't want to be using an agent that doesn't know the methodology well. No price marketing works and buyers and sellers shouldn't be wary of it. As a buyer, you've still got the control over how much you'll pay and whether or not you want to make an offer or not. And for sellers, you've got the control as to what you'll accept or not. It still comes down to you. As always, if you're thinking of buying or selling in the suburbs nearby or surrounding Beaufort Street, I would love to help. Call me on 0405 812 273 or email me at natalie at bellcourtproperty.com.au. Have a great day.